Welcome back to Moms Every Day. Every bride says, oh, you can wear this dress again, but how often does that really happen? Well, today, Marilyn Farrell, who is with David's Bridal in Waco, has some ideas for us so that maybe we actually can rewear some of those bridesmaids' <laughs> dresses. Marilyn, appreciate you being here. Of course, anytime. You have gotten some great ideas for us of how we can re-accessorize a look. First, mm -hmm. we'll show you the picture of uh, dress number one, and so this is how the dress looks uh, if you wore it to a wedding, you are a bridesmaid. Um, of course, it's a different color, and here it is. Uh, Today, of how you have re accessorized it. Um, so, what type of occasion would you wear this dress for now? This is for everyday daytime wear. Okay. This dress, um, it's awesome just because it looks more formal because it has the one shoulder, but one shoulder dresses are in season right now. So, pairing it with a really flirty hat and some nice, clunky shoes are awesome. Ah, and you say that when you are trying to redo a dress like this, that the shoes are really important. Oh, yeah. The shoes are one of the most important pieces of any outfit and so with the shoes you just have to make sure that it doesn't have to match um, completely but definitely complement and it can really brighten up the whole outfit. Ah, and also headpieces you're a big fan of. Definitely. Why, why that with the formal dress? With headpieces, um, the whole point of the dress, of this look, is mm. to make it less formal. And so putting little flirty headpieces, a bow, a really cute hat, things like that will help downplay the dress a little bit more and help it not look so much like a bridesmaid's dress. Uh -huh. so. Okay, we'll move on down, down the row here to our, to our next dress. And we can show you the picture of this one uh, when it was worn as a bridesmaid's dress. A great dress, sleeveless, which it can be hard to redo mm -hmm. again because it can be so much more formal. Right. Um, so there it is it's on a bridesmaid, and here it is in a regular after the wedding look. When would you wear this look? This is for date night. Oh, so, okay. And it's for date night for our single ladies, and a lot of bridesmaids right now are wanting to be in the bride spot. So this is great for going out. <laughs> and when you're looking for the husband. <laughs> exactly. This is the kind of date night that this dress is for. It's not for, you know, once you've already found the guy necessarily. But well, we um, could have bring the romance into the marriage, exactly. too. That's all right. Exactly. That's all right. Okay, so tell me about what you have added on post-bridesmaid to this dress. What I've added with this one is some feather um, dangly earrings here. So it helps create the fun look okay. and then also with some cute strappy Jessica Simpson heels the black and the uh, bright pink helps choose that so that you can bring in the black color everywhere else as well oh okay and so you've got also the the jewelry on here which mm -hmm. Probably wouldn't have been jewelry that you picked for bridesmaid jewelry, exactly. um, but fun to kind of add the clunkiness on with the strapless dress. Exactly, it's perfect for going out um, night on the town, and then also obviously you wouldn't put all of these together, but you would choose different <laughs> ones so that uh, it would just make the outfit pop. I like it. Okay, I'll set these down. We'll go on to our last outfit down here. We can show you the picture of the first time. This is when it was actually on a bridesmaid. And then we'll show you how we have, or Mar Marilyn, I can take no responsibility for this, how Marilyn has reaccessorized it for today. Um, what, what is this look for? This is for um, work attire. Ah, this is okay. work attire. Certainly. All right. And so, how have you moved this from standing at the altar, beside the altar, mm -hmm. <laughs> to wearing it into the office place? This is um, a really good look because anything, once you put a blazer with it, makes it a little bit more professional. And satin right now is really good for the workplace. Huh. Also, putting it with just some regular pumps. Um, you could either, you can also just do black on black instead of um, doing the coordinating colors. You can just do all one color, which makes it maybe a little bit more work, like uh, professional ah. versus doing the you know, reds, but at David's Bridal, they like us to show our individuality, so that's why I probably could get away with doing the bright red, but Ooh. it makes it a great work outfit. I like it. Yeah, I, I think this is great, and I like the blazer with the cuffs, too. Mm -hmm. I think that's so cute when people do that. Okay, exactly. we've got some more looks that I want to talk about. We have to take a quick commercial break. Stay with us. Moms Every Day is back right after this. All right, be honest. You were bridesmaid and your best friend or your sister's wedding. Did you ever rewear that bridesmaid's dress? <laughs> today, Marilyn Farrell with David's Bridal says that you can wear that bridesmaid's dress, and you're actually proof of that today. Oh, yeah. You are wearing a bridesmaid's dress. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you uh, have accessorized your outfit. Well, this is, I'm actually uh, working today, so I've also I've cleared the blazer with this to add a more professional look because obviously strapless is not the best way to go to work. But then I've also put it with just some regular heels here that brings in the stripes on the blazer and ties in the color all the way throughout and paired it with a nice headpiece. And so 
You got your whole look going on. Okay, so I knew that we were doing this today, and so I wanted to try my hand a little bit, although that was before I got all your tips. And so I really did wear this dress as a bridesmaid at one of my friend's weddings. And so I was looking to try and incorporate. I got to tell you what I would do different now that I have had your advice. Okay. I was afraid to put heels with it because I thought that I was trying to really make it more casual. But I think if I had worn some fun, colorful shoes, it would have been okay. And same thing, I did really wish I had had a cardigan that had the bright colors in it, especially. For springtime, mm -hmm. but did I do okay for oh, a no. first look? Definitely, I didn't even know it was a bridesmaid show. She did a great <laughs> job wearing the cardigan with the boots. You can't even tell. Okay, well, and part of that is probably because I had a very stylish friend who picked a good <laughs> bridesmaid dress. Oh, good for her. We've got a lot of other uh, five other looks that I want you to tell us about. We can put those up on the screen right here if you can oh. see those there. So this one is a black uh, strapless. Again, you said strapless. It can be a little bit harder to mm -hmm. make that. Uh, Conversion. So, mm -hmm. what, what happened on this one? This one, it looks like they put a red um, jacket with this one. And red and black just go together so well, and it really takes away from the black. So, pairing with red is a great idea. But also, it looks like they put some shoes with that as well, some black, um, black heels. And so, it really just um, takes it out of the avenue of bridesmaids. And I mean, you can't Puts even it on tell. there. Yeah, I yeah. like the detailing on that jacket. All right, mm -hmm. here's our, our next look. Um, this one I thought was, this is what I was really wishing that I had gotten to do. The oh, yeah. bright, colorful dress on the left, but when you pair it with kind of that That's floral, nice. colorful cardigan, mm -hmm. it, it really kind of turns it in a different way and, and oh, adding definitely. a necklace too. Definitely. I would look at, I would probably do that for a daytime look or even Sunday, you know, to oh, church or, absolutely. you know, um, Easter, anything like that. That's actually a really, I love the way that the white and the uh, floral print goes really great with the print of that, uh, the color of the dress. All right, we got another one to look at here. The strapless dress, and this one was again kind of more of a night look, which you mm -hmm. said that we really shouldn't be afraid to pull out these oh, no. bridesmaids' dresses again if you got a big fancy date night. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. And the way they put it with the necklace and the high collared jacket really sets the tone for going out. It's a nice pair. Ah, okay. And one, one another look. Uh, again, I thought this dress was so cute and flirty mm -hmm. on the left, just as it is. And then to be able to make the, you could wear this any, anything, out oh, yeah. to lunch or wherever. Oh, yeah, to a nice lunch or even to work with the jacket. It really transforms the dress, actually. Oh, all right, and here is our last picture to look at. Um, of course, I would think that having the long dress, so many brides do pick long bridesmaids' dresses, mm -hmm. that that could be um, prohibitive of right. wearing it again. Um, but here you're making it look, and I guess long dresses are kind of in a trend right now, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. David Spider does a really great job of following the trend, and maxi dresses are in right now. So this dress is actually very similar um, to maxi dresses. So you can put this with all types of clunky jewelry, cute, clunky, like uh, wet shoes, even a denim jacket, or putting a top over it and having the bottom as a skirt. Oh, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Well, Marilyn, I sure do appreciate you coming in. You are giving new life to dresses we never thought that we would Good. wear again. So thank you so much. Anytime. Thank you. Stay with us. Moms Every Day is back right after this with your CNET Tech Update. After the big dance is over, what do you do with your daughter's prom dress? You could be a guest on a future episode of Moms Every Day. Email Emily at MomsEveryDay.com. Call 254-741-5836 or find Moms Every Day on Facebook.